Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. This week, we are going to dive into our How to Recognize series. For this video, we will focus on the great Baroque master, Peter Paul Rubens. To learn more about him, then keep on watching. Before we examine the art of Peter Paul Rubens, we need to understand the man. He was born in Germany on June 28, 1577. As Rubens grew up, he received a classical humanist education, as well as artistic training. This set him up very well for a successful career in both politics and creative pursuits. When he was in his 20s, Rubens traveled to Italy. While there, he observed the works of the great Renaissance painters, including da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Raphael. He also examined pieces by fellow Baroque artist Caravaggio. This would have a profound impact on his artistic development. Throughout his career, Rubens worked at the courts of many European powers, including Spain, France, and England. He used his talent for painting as a diplomatic tool and was so beloved that he was even knighted by two kings. Rubens gained quite a bit of fame during his own lifetime, leading to a successful studio business. Rubens died on May 30, 1640, and was survived by his wife and eight children. Today, about 1,400 works have been attributed to Peter Paul Rubens. Although they cover a wide range of topics, there are common threads. He used sensually sculpted figures, dramatic movement, charged emotions, and rich colors to create stunning scenes and stories. Painted in 1618, The Abduction of the Daughters of Lysippus is one of Rubens' most famous mythological works. It features the story of Phoebe and Hilaria, two princesses. They were betrothed, but the demigod twins, Castor and Pollux, desired them. So, the brothers rode in on a pair of horses and kidnapped the women. The sense of drama is the most prominent part of this piece. The composition twists upwards, drawing the viewer's eye up to take in the entire scene. Despite the fear on the women's faces, Rubens still painted them in an alluring and sensual manner. The fleshiness of their bodies is emphasized, as well as their nudity. This work combines a classical myth with Baroque drama. In contrast to the dramatic mythological scene previously discussed, The Three Graces is more about classical beauty. Rubens painted this piece between 1630 and 1635. The Three Graces were minor goddesses as daughters of Zeus. They represented beauty, charm, and human creativity. Sometimes, the Three Graces are shown as companions to the goddess of love, Aphrodite. This painting is entirely focused on beauty and sensuality. Rubens painted each figure with fleshy bodies and in the nude. The grace on the left is actually based on his second wife, Helene. She served as his muse for much of the latter half of his career. Each of the graces stand with a contrapposta pose, clearly inspired by ancient Roman sculpture. This also serves to highlight their bodies. Another element of this work is the deep, rich colors. The flora and fauna are intensely rendered and form a frame around the women. There's an ideal landscape in the background with a beautiful blue sky. These details are meant to show a mythological version of heaven. Peter Paul Rubens did not just paint mythological scenes. In fact, there are a vast number of paintings by him that deal with biblical subjects, including this one showing the story of Susanna and the elders. In this scene, Susanna is bathing in her back garden. Some old men sneak in and spy upon her nude body. She looks up in horror at having her privacy violated. Rubens painted this work in the early 1600s while he was living and studying in Italy. The influence of the great masters can clearly be seen in his contrasting use of light and dark. Although Rubens' portrayal of the female form is familiar, the sensuality is muted due to Susanna's terror. There is a lot of emotion in this work as well. Her vulnerability and the elder's voyeurism contrast greatly. Typically, biblical works were more stoic, but Rubens infused it with feeling to help the viewer connect. Sensuality, drama, and emotion are all hallmarks of works by Peter Paul Rubens. He used his talent and education to change the landscape of art in Europe during the Baroque period. Because he was so prolific, Rubens' works can be seen in museums all over the world. Now that you've watched this video, you'll be able to spot them. 